Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see what are uh, packages in uh, PL SQL. So, in this tutorial, I'll just explain the theoretical things of packages. In the later upcoming tutorials, we'll see how we can make use of these packages and advantages of packages and all. So, first of all, let us know what is a package. The thing that you need to remember whenever uh, we are, you know, coming across the word called package in PL SQL is a package is something what is a reusable uh, PLSQL uh, program which will uh, contain all kinds of things like uh, sub programs, variables, cursors, exception, object types, etc. So, what is sub program? Is sub program as we know it is nothing but function. So, first thing is we need to know that uh, package is nothing but is a reusable PLSQL program which will contain functions, cursors, variables then object types and many more things ok etc. So, these are the this is the first point that you need to remember when you are coming across package. Then the next thing is the package is going to have uh, two types of uh, sections that is one section is called as the package header and the second one is called as the package body. So, these are the two things that the package will contain one is the package header and then a package body. So, what exactly the package header will have and package body will have we will see that now. So, first of all uh, whenever you know this package body is a very mandatory section uh, whenever we are writing a package ok this header is a must ok and uh, anything that is declared inside this uh, package header what will happen is it will become a global or a public scope that is whenever we are declaring we have seen you know declaring a variable in a normal PLSQL program and all right declaration. So, whenever we are declaring a variables in this package header that will have a scope called uh, you know public public scope like or a global scope that is it can be used outside the package also it can be used within the package and also outside the package that is why we call it as a public or it is a, a global scope ok. So, this is the thing about uh, package header, but whenever the same thing whenever we are declaring something within uh, the package body that will have a private or it is you can uh, call it as a local scope that is it can be used only within that package only you the know that the variables cannot be used apart from the uh, present package that it cannot be used in other packages that is what it means. So, this is the first point that you need to remember when it comes to package header and package body. Then the next thing is the next thing about uh, package header is uh, whenever we are writing some of the functions or else the sub program or the procedure in the package header ok. So, whenever we are second point in this package header is whenever we are declaring a sub program or else you can say function or else a procedure ok. The same thing should be defined in package body that is nothing but whenever we are saying that there is uh, you know some of the when we are saying that we are declaring a function then the logic of that should be present in the package body that is if we are declaring something and if it is not used then what is the use right. So, in the same thing whatever the function or the procedure whatever we are declaring in the package header make sure that you are writing the business logic in this package body. So, that is the second point that uh, we have seen. Then the third one is uh, whenever you know the the header will uh, contain the declaration of the sub programs that is uh, here coming to this uh, package body this will have all the uh, you know uh, declarations of the sub programs as I said whenever we are declaring it here the you know the business logic should be present here that is what I am meaning that this package body should have uh, 
all the business logic okay so that is the thing then uh, this package body uh, can be of an this can be optional you can make sure that you can give this um, you can give this package header if you want if you don't want then you can close the package with the package body itself okay so this is optional one whereas this uh, package body is mandatory it, it must be there whenever you are using packages okay so the package body is an optional section then it contains all the declaration and definitions of the sub program as we know then uh, apart from this what else we can see in the package is that whenever the package header and the you know whenever we are writing the package header and the body it should have uh, the same name this is a must note thing okay whenever we are using package body and header header these must have the same name okay make sure that you are giving same name for the header and the package we'll see when we are going going to the next tutorials we'll see how we can write the packages and all then apart from this uh, you need to make sure that you are creating the header first and then the body okay so the header sh should be created first and then the body okay so these are the things about packages hope uh, this was clear the theoretical things were clear uh, regarding this packages so what i'll do is in the next tutorial we'll see the uh, advantages of package and we'll see how we can write a program in a package and execute that so if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and i'll try to get back as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching